Alright, hi guys, Matt here. Hi everyone. And, um, <clears throat> uh, this is my Ding 60 video. And, uh, right here is my Hunter. And Ding level 60. There we go. That's the, the main part of this video, apart from Outlands, that we're gonna go to. Um, you hit 60 out in the, not the Blasted Lands, Searing, go or the uh, Burning Steps, Burning Steeps. Uh,. Yep, so I'm going, uh, all the guild chat, the two people in my guild that were on, they congratulated me, and I said thanks back, and, uh, very happy at this point, and, um, as well as my new u user interface, I'm gonna be doing a video, um, after, or a couple days after this video is released, along with, um, the Camtasia video. So, I, th we're, I think we're gonna head into the, uh, talent point part so uh so let's just um just talk back to the guild chat and say um say some stuff about uh that and we're gonna go t on to uh the talent points now i got you get one talent point every level so dang 60 you got one talent point as usual as usual i'm gonna zoom in for you guys and uh we're gonna there's my tree, a uh, very brief, and I'm gonna hit uh, Beast Mastery. So you get four extra points into my pet. So I think we'll go for the guard dog. Yeah, I think that'll be pretty good for my pet. Um, then we're might gonna go to the um. Uh, maybe, no, not that. Uh, maybe the spike collar, we should do that. And we're going to put in, um, not taunt, intervene. Yeah, intervene, I think that's pretty good. Let me just read over the thing in my head. Um, yeah, that looks good. And we have one point, we're going to put into spike collar. This is maxed out, so you get good DPS from our pet, even though it's just a gorilla. Tenancy tree spec pet. Zoom out here for you guys. And, uh... Go from there. I'm actually using, um... Sony Vegas, and right here I'm using Zygor's Guide. I'm going to be doing a review if you guys want me to. Changing the book to Outlands. It'll be a review video on how to set it up and things like that, of that sort. So in the Burning Steeps, I'm going to... Head over to the Blasted Lands. We're going to Hearthstone to, uh, Hearthstone back to Lake Shire. And, I uh, mean, yeah, I'm using Sony Vegas, so, um, because Windows Movie Maker, uh, I'll have to do a rant video about that or some time where I'll have to be complaining about it because it, it's ridiculous. I plug in my microphone and it, it's supposed to, it recognizes it, but it doesn't, when I'm recording, it screws up. So, back to Sony Vegas now. So, Sony Vegas 8 Pro. So, uh, yeah, my pet actually has changed from the red one. I ended up trying to get a rare spawn that spawned a very, um, it was farmed pretty daily and, uh, or pretty often. And what ended up happening was it went sp it spawned once for me. I ended up dying. I came back, tried to get him again, and he had already been slain. So I got screwed over there. But I ended up uh, getting a new one, which I'm not going to tell you. You guys just have to wait till my UI video, my gear, and updates and stuff like that. It might be in one or two parts. At 60, I'm going to be doing. I won't hit 61 for a while. I'm still um, trying to get my mount, my epic uh, ground mount. I'm going to do a transition there. To uh, Nether Guard Keep, Blasted Lands. Going into the keep, as you see, my guide has changed. It's an automatic switcher. Once you get to the right coordinates, it changes automatically with the uh, with cartographer installed, as well as TomTom. Tom. So I ended up trying to get a uh, a drink from uh, the keep, but I ended up losing my way. So I'm gonna skip ahead, and we're gonna find him. He's the uh, Two left from it, so I'm gonna buy a uh, nether guard keep uh, 
bitter, so I got some booze in my inventory, <laughs> in my bags, and uh, head down to the dark portal, which is the entrance to Outlands. So, we're going to, uh, me do another transition to, uh, Blast of Lands, Dark, or not the Blast of Lands, sorry, the Dark Portal, I got the travel experience there, and the guy has already told me to pick up a quest, uh, through the Dark Portal, and if you guys are wondering, um, why I'm not stuttering over words or making weird things, like, uh, because I actually, I've, had to do um I've had to done this several times and it would never go through. So I accepted the quest through the dark portal and we're gonna go through the the great portal as I'm gonna call it right now. I don't know anyone else. So uh very good at this point. I got a new uh artwork there. I've never seen that before apart from other YouTube videos. Here we go, Hellfire Peninsula, the Stairs of Destiny. And if anybody could tell me, um, why there's always these great bad, not very great, but, uh, oh, there's just Outlands itself, even though a crap load of people already know about it. So, uh, there's a whole bunch of these monsters right here. Can you tell me why they're there? I mean, it's just a random question, I don't know, but they're probably, uh, really high level, I'm not going to take on any of them. So in that quest, really simple, which, and then I'm going to go turn in the deed, and accept the other one. And then we're going to fly to honor hold. Now, the really surprising thing is, is I've been, um, I need, I'm desperately in need of gear, so uh, I did three quests that the guy told me to do to get three pieces of gear, and I got all three pieces. I got a helm, a staff, and a uh, uh, a crossbow, which I desperately needed. So, at least I know that you can get a lot of good gear in terms of quest items in uh, Outlands. And I will also be planning on some lower-end instance runs. Just with the hunter, and don't call me Hobbs because I'm not not Hobbs. I'm not a knight. I, he's a paladin. I'm not. I am completely different. So don't you guys be trash talking about that just for the sake of. So yeah, low level instance runs just probably solo because I prefer solo because hunters aren't hunters aren't very good at pulling with a group um, that I know personally. And I'm probably going to do an instance with a few of my guildmates in uh, Hellfire Ramparts to get some other gear. As well as the add-on and UI gear and stuff like that video will be out soon. So, turn in that quest. And accept the other one. Now, make Honor Hold my home. I'll go over to the inn, which is just around the corner. And as well, I'm going to stop at the uh, mailbox, because I had brought in a few pieces of gear. I believe a level 60 and a 59 level thing. I'm not going to pick it up. I'm going to wait. But I ended up do getting it. And right here, I didn't know... I couldn't find the... Uh, the bartender anywhere, but he's actually the innkeeper as well, so we're gonna do that. And <laughs> I say LOL because it took so long to find him, that's why I skipped ahead. So there we go, guys, that was um, my journey to 60. It took, um, it didn't take very long because I've been leveling other characters. And, uh, yeah, 37 Paladin and a 14 Night Elf Druid. So I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Thanks for watching this video on, uh, me digging 60 and the Outlands. So I'll see you later, guys. Bye.